Well, welcome everybody. You join us here for our coverage of what is set to be a truly exciting final. Formalities are underway. Everybody is soaking up an energetic, highly charged atmosphere within the ground. The teams will be with us very shortly. We look forward, of course, to that special moment. In the meantime, we take in the feeling of excitement and euphoria ahead of what should be a really outstanding final. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Both teams, Jim, eyeing the ultimate prize here, unerring focus and determination in all of those eyes. Yes, Peter, I've been a, a winning finalist and I've been a, a losing finalist and I don't need to tell anyone what I prefer. Winning will help fans remember you for a long, long time. So I sincerely wish both teams well and hope that all the players can give a good account of themselves and, and you've heard it before, may the best team do it. So what are we to expect in this final? As with a lot of finals, caution plays a big part in the opening stages, but an early goal can blow a lot away, so I hope that we can um, create a, a, an attacking contest here, which, which obviously we want for this showpiece. Skriniar drives it forward. Toliso plays it forward. That's it out wide now. Forward it goes. Sade. And it's Davis. Made into space out wide. Sane. By Munich. Aiming a corner, and the referee concurs. And it's been taken short. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. It's a brilliant interception. Oh, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement, forget it. Chalanolu finds himself eased off the ball. Chalanolu has a lot to the possibilities, but in the end, just the goalkeeper to beat. It's Muller! It's broken loose! Oh, real danger here! DeMarco needs to get it forward quickly. And the weighted pass. Correa looking to get on the end of this. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Kimmich. Sane goes looking. Some good stubborn defending there. Hoists it forward. It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. Taliso.
Muller. Tolisso. And it's Sané. And here's Lewandowski. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be outmuscled. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Martinez. And the shot! Goal! Inter! Could that be the start of something big? Simplicity itself. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation for that split moment and the damage was all done. Inter Milan have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone's confidence here. Brozovic. Lewandowski. Oh, he's tripped him right on the cusp of the penalty area. And that is a huge moment in the context of the game. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. A formality, we're level. Oh, dispatched with certainty. Yeah, and he smashed it right down the middle. It was just as well the keeper didn't hold his position. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, they just couldn't have responded any better, Peter. Yeah, there's the old cliche about how teams can lose focus after scoring, but you still have to take your chances. Brilliant. And that's sprayed out wide. Goalkeeper's ball. Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. Well, it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. So, at the first 45 minutes of the final, Jim, how's it looking for you? I think both teams have played their part in what's been a, a pretty tight affair, and this is exactly the type of match now when the better players can come to the fore and make all the difference. It's been a decent 45 minutes, competitive certainly, and a goal each. Well, the action has already resumed here. Breaks on here. Tolisso. DeMarco. And it's played forward. Hernandez positions himself well and cuts it out. Chalanolu! No, that wasn't kidding anyone. There's no doubt he made the right decision but without the right result. Davis. And here's Sané. Chalhanolu. Oh, defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Hernandez does well to read it and intercepts. Pavar. Pavar drives it forward.
really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Martinez tries lifting it over. Shot at goal! Goal! Inter! And they get themselves in front! There was to be only one outcome. Yeah, he just calmly faced the keeper and waited. It became a, a who blinks first situation. And for me, there was never any doubt as to who was going to come out on top. Bayern Munich are making a change now. Into Milan, get themselves into the lead. Brozovic, Chalanolu, Checo, Brozovic. Forward it goes. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Out towards the flank. Inter Milan can make their change now with uh, a break in play. But amongst the goals here, and now he takes his lead. I think he's put in a good shift, and, and their fans appreciate that. I think he could feel pretty happy with the, the contribution he's made. And Sula! And that could come back to haunt them. It looked like he got a bit anxious there when the pressure was on. Changes then in quick succession. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. And here's Lewandowski. He's gone for it! who's short, great strength, too strong for his opponent. Keep calm and carry on, that's the job in a nutshell now. Kimmich plays it forward. Bayern Munich need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Just the question of running down the clock now. Ericsson plays it out to the wing. That is terrific skill. Chupamotti. Chupamotti goes looking. Board shows there will be three extra minutes. And that is that. Inter Milan have done it here. Winners of the Konami Cup. A massive moment in their lives. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.